All right, good morning, everybody. Let's make a start. So good morning and welcome to our reports and data analysis webinar. The session is going to last about 15 minutes and there'll be time for some questions at the end. Um, everybody will be remaining muted during the session. So if you want to ask any questions, if you wouldn't mind doing that through the conversation on the meeting itself, and then I'll answer any questions at the end of the session. If we don't have time to answer any questions that have been popped into the chat, then um, we'll send the email out with the copy of the recording at the end with any answers to the questions that came up during the session. So during the session, we're going to be looking at where to access the reports through Surgery Connect. We will also be looking at the call reports that you can um, retrieve from the system, group reports, user reports, and the management reports. So that's an archive of the reports that we send out to you each month via email. We'll also have a look at exporting the call data from the archived call screen through the user console. So to access the reports, if you log into the single sign-on, then one of your options as a supervisor will be the reports on the single sign-on page. So you can access that through your single sign-on at sso.x-onweb.com. Or you can use the web address that's shown on the button itself if you want to access just the reports directly. Um, so you can use reports.x-onweb.com. That will then take you to a reports login and that login detail are the same as your normal single sign on login. So it'll be your NHS email address and your password for Surgery Connect. Once you've logged in, you're then going to be given a list of reports down the right uh, left hand side of the screen. So we can see that the reports that we've got here and they're split up into the different types of reports that we have. And we're going to use look at each of these reports just so that you can see what uh, information those reports bring out of the system. Through the menu, uh, you'll see some different icons. So if it has a graph um, and a little square picture, that is going to give you a, a graph as well as statistical data there. Reports can be run at any time um, and you can include today's date so they can be run real time as well in most cases. If you find a report that you particularly like, you can use the little star just next to the report that will then save it into the favorite section at the top of the menu so if you find a report that's giving you the information that you need you can add that to your favorites and then it will appear each time you log in at the top of the menu there so it's easy to access for you now some of the reports are quite large um, so you can minimize the menu using the arrow at the top of the menu option there and that will shrink it to the left hand side so that you then have the full page to view the report on. So we're going to have a look at the calls reports now and we'll work our way through the list of reports that we have on the screen. So the first report is going to be our inbound call report, uh, port, sorry, inbound call performance report. When you click on the report, it will then give you the parameters that you can set for that particular report. So you'll have the different numbers that you have coming into the into your practice. You can also set um, different parameters for that report. So this particular report is looking at calls that we've answered or missed within one minute um, of that call being presented. I'm looking at it by hour. I could change that to by day if I just wanted an overview. And at the moment, I'm looking for the whole month of February to see um, what happened as an average over the whole month. If I then click generate report, it will then bring the data up onto the screen for me. And you can see now that that data has been split up by the hour and it's showing us what calls have been answered within one minute and what percentage of your total calls that is and also which calls have been missed or answered outside that time scale. And you could change that time scale just by changing the parameters at the top here and that will go up in one minute increments um, all the way up to uh, an hour there for you. Okay. You can export any of the reports so you'll have a little export button on each report once it's been run and that will export it into a CSV format which you can then use your um, standard spreadsheet viewer uh, to uh, manipulate that CSV file. 
Each of the columns can, is also sortable within the report. So if you can see the little white arrows at the top at the moment, this is sorted obviously from lowest to highest. If we were to click on the arrows, it would reverse the sort um, and start it with the uh, midnight on this one. The next report is our inbound call stats report. So this is a graphical report. So as well as getting the data within the table, um, it will also show you in a graph. Again, you can change the parameters across the top. So I'm looking for four days in February. And when I've generated the report, it's then showing me the average call duration um, within that hour. So if I look between nine and 10, I had one call in, uh, which was one minute, 23 seconds long. So that is obviously my average call duration. Between 10 and 11, I had six calls with a one minute six. So my total call duration was six minutes, 33. The next report is the inbound number overview report. Now this report will um, separate the numbers coming into the practice. And if we've given them a name through the XFlow um, and allocated that number in XFlow, then you will see the name of that number here. So we've got the main number for this particular practice. Any uh, numbers without names um, obviously haven't been allocated on the system. So they are um, numbers that have been brought over to Exxon but don't necessarily have, uh, haven't been renamed and they may not have a call flow. So you might find that you're missing calls through numbers that we haven't set up um, or finished the setup on. This is also gonna show you your inbound calls for each uh, number that you've got there and then your percentage of answered, missed and unabandoned. So an abandoned call, is when a call has dropped before it's joined the queue. So that might be a patient that's rung up, heard the uh, surgery name, realised they've rung the wrong number and then put the phone down. You might also find abandoned calls before the practice opens in the morning. So people tonight trying to ring up just before the lines open, trying to get into that queue before it's opened. A missed call has been dropped when it's actually reached the queue. So that would mean that the patient has uh, listened to your inbound call message and then gone into the queue. It may even be allocated for someone to answer and be ringing on a phone and then the patient's put the phone down or the call has dropped out. Okay. So abandoned calls, not much you can do about those, but the missed calls, uh, those have been patients that you have the opportunity to answer. The next report is a menu selection report. Um, again, I've run that for the whole of February. You could run it for a day and you can run it for the current day if you want to. And that will break down any menu options that you have within your X flow. Um, so if you're asking your patients to press one for appointments and two for general inquiries, it will then break those button presses down and show you how many uh, times that has, selection has been made through that particular menu option. Next, we're moving on to the group reports. So this is a group overview report. Again, it's looking at the groups that you have set up on the system and then the call division between those groups. So obviously we've got the vast majority of our calls coming into the main number. Um, and then we have a few other calls coming into the different areas. And again, that will show you in a graphical as well as a statistical format. This is a group overview report. So this is going to tell you how long people have queued for a particular group and how many calls have answered through that group. So again, you can uh, limit which group you're looking at and look at one at a time if you want to. So I've taken the main number on this particular practice and we're looking at the group overview report. So looking at the calls that came into the patient care team, I've again done it for a full month, but you could limit the time that you report that for. And we can see the number of calls that have come in each hour over that month. So it's all cumulative. And then how many calls have been answered and how many calls we've missed from that queue. It will also tell you how long people have been sitting in the queue at that particular time of day. So if you find that you've got very high queues at a particular time of day, that would be the time to be looking to see if we can get more resources onto the phones. There's also a queue busting report. Um, so if you have queue busting on any of your queues, you can then pick that uh, again, setting the parameters across the top to see how many calls uh, were in the queue, uh, how many calls were queue busting in the queue busting queue when it was active, how many calls uh, the queue busted, so how many people opted for that queue bucket option and whether those callbacks were made and accepted by the patients.
This is a Q duration analysis report. So this is looking at the time uh, that people spent waiting in the queue. Now this is based on our training database. So I'm looking at the main number that's coming into our training database uh, for the month of February. And I should expect, um, because we're on the system when we're making the calls, all of our calls or majority of our calls were answered within one minute. So they were all answered under one minute, just the one answered between one and five minutes. But it would then break down your queue uh, for that particular queue to show you um, with the, your answering within um, one minute, one to five, five to ten or over ten minutes. Within the user reports, that will break it down to an individual user level. So again, I've run this report for the training team. Um, it's a monthly uh, report that I've run, so I'm going for the whole of February and it will break it down to the individual users, show you how many times the system has targeted them and how many times they've actually answered those calls. So it will also show you where the individuals are missing calls here um, and how many outbound calls were made and connected as well. This is a user state timeline report, and this is another report that can be run in real time. So again, I've run it for the, uh, the training team and I'm looking at our appointments group. So within that group, it's then got the users for the group and it's showing me uh, when they change status. So when we go into do not disturb or whether we go into outbound calls um, only. So we can see um, that we've got times across the top. So those are the hours of the day. Uh, so from nine o'clock, I was in do not disturb. And then I went into available and do not disturb again. Now there are some blue lines here. So if you can't see the detail of what you're looking for, you can actually use control on your keyboard and then scroll via your mouse to zoom into the report. So when you've got the report on the screen, at the moment, I've got four hour blocks going across my time section here. But if I were to scroll in on here using the control and scroll to zoom, that will then uh, allow me to zoom right in so it's actually minutes that I've got in the large blocks and these are now 15 second blocks that you can see across the screen. So you can zoom in and see exactly what's going on with the change of status there if you need to. Got user status overview report, again run for the month of February and this will give us the users um, that are set up on the system and how much time they've actually spent on calls either inbound or outbound or uh, sat waiting for calls in available status or in do not disturb. So again, you can run this um, for a shorter period. So if you wanted to look at a day, then you can do that over a day as well. Now the management reports are sent out to you each month via email, but your management reports for your surgery are accessed in the reports portal. So it will be the name of your surgery um, up at the top here. And when you click on view archive, it will then bring up the data that we have available um, for your particular practice. You can then either preview the details on the screen. And if you click on the preview button, it will then bring that up into a pop up window that you can scroll through and view through that report. Or if you wanted to have a look at that in a PDF format, then you can uh, click on the PDF. It will open a PDF viewer window so you can see the details on the screen and you can also download and print that information from the PDF. So finally, we're gonna look at um, exporting call data. So the reports uh, obviously are going to can give you some real time analysis, but if you want to look at the latest calls, uh, then we can do exporting the call data from your calls that are just over 24 hours old. So you would access, access that via the user console, via the archive call list. So when you log into your user console, you'll have your calls on the left hand side and you need to use the archive calls button, which is the little timer just next to your lightning strike. So that's going to give you your calls that are recorded that are over 24 hours old um, and up to three years. And all your calls will be displayed on the screen. So you can then change the search parameters on the left hand side. So I'm just looking for Jack's calls um, between the 24th of February and the 3rd of March. I've then those got those up on the screen and I can export that information down at the bottom of the screen and that will then export into a CSV folder. So when you click on the export, if you're using Google, it will uh, pop up at the bottom of the screen. The report will be called uh, call export and then it will have the dates that you want um, to actually see that report. So it will name the report with the dates as well. 
you can either open that from the bottom of the screen or if it doesn't show up at the bottom there if you go into the um, search function on your PC and look for your downloads folder then your call exports will be in that download folder okay so that's then a CSV folder that you can open using your own um, spreadsheet viewer So we've had a look at accessing reports either through the um, single sign-on or uh, directly through the reports. We've looked at the call reports, group reports, user reports and management reports that are available in the archive. And we've had a look at exporting the call data through the archive calls list on the user console.